donation. Make a donation now, even five bucks. Make a donation, dial pound 250, say the keyword baby. We have a goal of saving 70,000 children this year. It's pound 250, keyword baby, preborn.com slash Beck. 10 second station ID. Power Talk 1460 and FM 101.1. apologize to all of our guests that we have been off and on again and uh, had to bump because of uh, uh, technical reasons but Sean Reyes uh, was bumped from earlier in the show and he's made time to come back on with us um, he's going to be talking about something very very positive uh, he is leading the way along with 25 other states these attorney generals are doing the hard work and he is doing everything they can along with 25 other states to save your retirement. Wait until you hear this story and what's being done. It's a success story that you need to support. Back with Sean Reyes, the Attorney General from the great state of Utah, next. The Glenn Beck Program. Let's. Okay, let me uh, tell you about our sponsor this half hour. It's Tunnel to Towers. Out of the ashes of 9-11, Tunnel to Towers Foundation has been honoring America's heroes in doing good for the world ever since. If you haven't heard of them, uh, let me just explain quickly. They are an organization started after 9-11 that provides mortgage-free homes to families of fallen and severely injured veterans and first responders. Okay, They want to take care of the families. They'll be taking care of hundreds of Gold Star and Fallen First Responder families, providing them with homes this year. It was 500 last year. It's going to be a lot more than that, unfortunately, this year. They also travel around with um, a 9-11 memorial kind of museum, and they can bring it to schools. They bring it all across the country, and they teach our children about 9-11. They're not learning that. Please help Tunnel to Towers on its mission to do good. Can you donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org? That's T, the number 2T.org. Tunnel to Towers. It's a great charity that we all need to pitch in and help if we can. BlazeTV.com slash Glenn. Use the promo code Glenn. You'll save 10 bucks off your subscription to Blaze TV. Hello, Fremont. I'm Amy Eric, founder of Madison Reed, a hair color company I named after my dog. I started Madison Reed to give you the most gorgeous hair color made with ingredients you could feel good about. You may know Madison Reed for our at-home but big news, we now have over 80 locations nationwide where we color your hair for you. And now we have a grand opening of our newest hair color bar at Pacific Commons. Salon results without salon cost and time. Let one of our professionals Hair color services from all over color, roots, gloss, highlights, and foliage. Book an appointment for fast and fabulous hair color at our newest hair color bar at Pacific Commons. For a limited time, brand opening special for new clients, get 20% off your first hair color service at a Madison Reed hair color bar. Visit madison-reed.com forward slash. Madison Reed. Dancing crew. Now the final interview. Game with Doug. Brand new. Come here, kid. Give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. New COVID-19 boosters designed for recent Omicron variants are now available. Learn about eligibility and schedule a free updated booster today at vaccines.gov. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Tim, we need to talk. I just can't get over that rate increase from Verizon and AT&T last year. We'll T-Mobile and get their price lock guarantee. They won't raise our rates for talk, text, and data ever. Oh, we're switching to Switch to T-Mobile and get four lines for 25 bucks a line with our price lock guarantee. We won't raise the price of your rate plan for talk, text, and data ever. Four lines for $25 per line with auto pay, plus taxes and fees. $5 more per month without auto pay. Price lock for qualifying services excludes taxes, fees, select promos, and third-party services. See T-Mobile.com for details. Accelerate your savings during Redwood Credit Union's auto loan rate sale. Take advantage of discounted rates now through March 31st on new, used, or refinanced auto loans from another lender. Lower rates mean better options, so you can get the car you love with an affordable payment. 
Apply online or ask for RCU financing at the dealership. Get started today. Redwood Credit Union, for all that you love. Discount effective through 331.23. Rates, terms, and special offers subject to change. Discount for purchases and refinances of existing loans from another lender. Restrictions may apply. When your baby starts to move, you need a diaper that can keep up. <laughs> Pampers Cruisers 360, the only diaper with no tapes and a 360 stretchy waistband for up to 100% leak-free fit. No tapes or tabs means they're easy to put on and babies have all the stretchy freedom they need to bust their wild moves. Pampers Cruisers 360, live wild and free. Tap the banner to learn more. At Morgan Stanley, we see the world with the wonder of new eyes, helping you to best possibility and relentlessly working with you to make them real. Because grit and vision working in lockstep puts you on the path to your full potential. Old school grit, new world ideas, Morgan Stanley. To learn more, visit morganstanley.com slash why us. Investing involves risk. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC. Life is uncertain. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, It's normal. With CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources, it's easy to get the help you and your loved ones need when you need it the most. Call our warm line at 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. The host doesn't stay with you. Because a vacation home with a stranger sounds a little bit like a horror movie. Only whole vacation homes, always private. Book on the Verbo app. What if there was a university on the train? An accounting class under the one shady spot at soccer practice. Imagine if every waiting What if you could pick the time and the place that works for you and college would just appear? UMass Global offers online support to help you succeed in college, wherever you are in life. Major in your future. Visit umassglobal.edu to apply. Don't miss Ashley's President's Day preview sale going on now. This week only, beat the crowds and get early access to the best President's Day deals, including 10% off trending styles throughout the store and online. And with special financing options available for all budgets, refreshing your home has never been easier. Hurry into your local Ashley store or tap the banner to shop and save. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store, Ashley. Cease to move. Dancing crew, trip for two, now the final interview, game with Doug, brand new mug, come here kid, you give me a hug. New COVID-19 boosters designed for recent Omicron variants are now available. Schedule a free updated booster today at vaccines.gov, sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Mitt Romney uh, and primary him in Utah is uh, Sean Reyes. He is the Utah Attorney General, a good friend and a very good man. Uh, welcome to the program. Sean, how are you, sir? I'm doing so well, Glenn. How are you doing? Good. You know, we don't deal with snow in Texas like we do in Utah. So I, my apologies for the cancellation earlier. And we are just a, at least Dallas is is like it's worse than it was with covid because of the ice on the streets but um so thank you for your patience um sean of course. Uh, there was something that the biden administration announced in november um and this is so insidious uh and oh. joe biden said that he wanted regulation now to be able to force everybody's retirement fund into ESG style uh, f um, uh, funds that could dramatically impact the uh, the retirement accounts of millions of Americans. You have put together 25 states, the attorney generals, and you have filed a lawsuit um, against the Biden administration and trying to get that repealed. Tell me about it. 
Yeah. Then we filed Utah versus Walsh with 24 other states, just like you said, because the Biden administration is trying to implement a rule that is immoral, it is irresponsible, and it is totally illegal. And, and the reason it's illegal uh, is that ERISA, which is the federal law that requires investment managers of private benefit plans like 401ks that you have, that I have, to pick investments based solely on financial reasons, to benefit right. the plan and maximize value for beneficiaries. That's their fiduciary duty. We call it the of purpose. Test. And this new Biden rule, which, by the way, as you said, they tried to sneaky, really sinister, uh, pass this rule that no one would, would notice, uh, and kind of like they did um, the last time we had to sue the Department of Labor with an OSHA vaccine mandate. You remember that. We took yeah. that to the Supreme Court and won. And we'll do the same here if we need to, because this is from ESG. So this new Biden rule allows asset managers for these plans to abandon their fiduciary and become instead woke investment activists for, G for ESG will put at risk over $12 trillion, oh my $12 gosh. trillion dollars of private retirement funds for 152 million hardworking Americans. The whole civilian workforce in America is 165 million at last count. So it just shows you the scale of the impact have. And, and again, it, it weaponizes and politicizes the role of asset managers at a time when 401ks are already taking major hits due to the economic downturns and high inflation from the administration. It, so, it is insane, so, Sean, this doesn't mandate that they they have to them to uh, to put aside their fiduciary responsibility, which is insane. Insane. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't mandate, and it's funny that you say that the DOL administration uh, put forth for why this, this is still uh, acceptable. We're not mandating legal conduct. We're only allowing it's perverse the way that they that they put it forward. Oh, oh okay. Well, uh, if, as long as it's not mandated, uh, it's it, it, We've seen the reality is, and you've talked about this on your show a lot. Thank you. God bless you for being such a voice of reason, a loud voice in pushing back on this ESG um, insanity because ESG are largely underperforming and they're getting a zero. They, zero. Um, they, they should be looking at, by the way, technologies that are actually profitable and don't cause more environmental impact. You have one right now in your state and mine is an company. I'm going to throw it out. You can have them on the show another time. But Omnis Energy is about to make a huge announcement in Texas about really clean energy that will give U.S. the energy dominance it, it deserves. And many of Texas's most prominent business leaders are committed to this technology. So I'm teasing it a little bit. Oh, I think I know what this is. When do they announce that? It's coming. It's coming in, in uh, days or weeks. Uh, and you know some of the principles. And, oh, I, th this is really, this this is going to be an exciting announcement. This is going to be really yeah. good. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll let you in on that um, on the uh, show. I've I've known about this for a couple of months and been waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, and I'm yeah, I'm excited I, to hear that I, it's I wanna, actually. I don't want to take their thunder. No, and, and I know. But but um, you know what? There there. Glenn, there are other technical reasons, and I just want to throw this out to any of the lawyers out there who, who are questioning, okay, what, what is the basis and why is it illegal in addition to it violating um, the fiduciary responsibilities of um, actors that violate the major questions doctrine um, because it has vast economic impact and the DOL actually doesn't have the authority to do this is arbitrary and capricious. And it also, something that we didn't really talk about a lot is that it's the proxy voting, again, in a way that prevents 
um, or requires them from um, living up to their fiduciary responsibilities. So there's a proxy element here too, which is another aspect of ESG that is pernicious. Um, and, and again, it's so brazen. This, this, this audacity of woke is, is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I, I will tell you, we have been fighting ESG with ESG legislation um, uh, through wall builders um, and yeah. David Barton and you know, I, I've been up at different states talking about it and, and they have really mounted, I think about 30 states are considering legislation. Um, I have been working with another organization uh, for the last, I mean, we've been working with them for at least eight months, but we found out some things. Um, that they were doing to undermine the protection for the and uh, just a quick side note I'm going to be making an announcement about that very well-known foundation um, and what they've been doing we've tried to give them several months uh, to uh, clarify and rectify the problem they haven't and uh, tomorrow's program I'm going and very, very disappointing on a um, on a foundation that uh, is as a long legacy and heritage uh, that uh, you're going to be disappointed in. Anyway, um, so let me ask you. Let me ask you on the ESG front: Is anyone that you know protecting? Because everybody including the little guy okay this is not just the energy sector this is heard on this um are you seeing any real forward to at all on protecting the little guy in the s and the g or is still are people still just worried about the e no absolutely we pushed back on some of the s and the g and, and let me talk about that before i do Thank you for your partnership with David. He is doing, and he's a warrior out there. And, and the work that you all are doing, Glenn, you deserve credit um, with the legislatures. The play, and they're, they're trying to push you back through a quick resolution. But the age, speaking of warriors, and you have an incredible one there in Texas, my colleague Ken Paxton, he is with me. So, I, so Texas. Uh, Louisiana, Jeff Landry, and the Commonwealth of Virginia, Jason Miaris, and all these other AGs, they're the ones you call us off in the last line of defense, and we are pushing back for the little guy, not just on the E, but on the S and the G. There was not too long ago an insurance issue that came up, which they were trying to pass a law that would require the insurance company to guys of being more diverse, right? And and it actually would require the insurance company, this rule, to consider race in terms of assessing right. risk and, right. and issuing insurance, which blatantly on its face violates a number of state laws. So we pushed back on that. So people think that the ESG is only the E, there's definitely the S and the G part of it, and we'll, we'll continue as AGs to push back on all of that because as you said so eloquently it hurts the little guy it hurts everyone and i want to so, be clear glenn we're, we're not saying you you can't invest your money your own money yeah and be a social it. warrior and activist we're saying yep. when you have a fiduciary money you can't do that right right um can you can you help me on one thing unrelated to this Sean, the uh, rule went in two days ago now for the pistol braces, and the ATF says if you have a gun with pistol braces, you have to uh, apply for a tax stamp, and you know that that's a, a year-long process uh, if you're lucky. Um, but you are going to be a felon within 120 days, even if you're in the process of the tax stamp. Um, and so they're saying turn your gun in. Well, a lot of people that have these guns. They were perfectly legal until they just decided to, you know, uh, uh, just change the regulation on their own. What what does the what should somebody do? I know there's a lawsuit that was just filed yesterday here in Texas, but w should we wait for this to play out in the court? Should you what should you do? Are we gonna be felons if you have those guns. Under assault on our Second Amendment 
um, rights. And, you know, I just 